is hard work. I need a break. <laughs> on Richmond's Canal Walk, volunteer Meredith Marks is on a roll. Like up here, there's green. <laughs> I'm going to have to go over that. Removing the remnants of murals painted here a decade ago. I color with my four and a half year old. That's my background in art. Her bright tennis shoes matching what's left of the professional artwork she carefully covers up. For the first time since 2012, the walls will be a fresh slate, a blank canvas for new Richmond artists to show their stuff in this year's street art festival. Yes. It's a good vibe that's easy for some. Yeah, it's like a fresh start. It feels, it feels good. Because you know something else is pretty is going up. It's just, it's just the beginning and harder for others, like co-founder Ed Trask. The overwhelming fact is that I'm really very sad and depressed to see a lot of these murals go away. It was a lot of hard work and a lot of my you know, close friends put up some of this work. And so, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was gonna impact me that much. So I'm trying to busy myself on some of the Runt work that has to get done. Nice to meet you, Wood. Yeah, you too, Jake Hollingsworth. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Onlookers like Jacob Hollingsworth watch the murals disappear. They're gone. And new sketches emerge. Richmond's growing art scene is something Hamilton Glass, who got his start here, is welcoming with open arms and hands. There was very few artists here that could, you know, pull off something like that. And now there was like over a hundred entries of artists just here yeah. who could do it. So it's just amazing. Well, and it's other artists painting over art instead of somebody coming over here and just, right. you, know, you know, a corporation coming and wiping you all out and just, Absolutely. you know, saying, here you Absolutely. go, start over, man. New lines, new colors, Glass says, will be a reflection of today's Richmond. In my opinion, art is one of those things, especially public art is one of those things that should really tell the, be like the thermostat to a city or a community. It's a new chapter in the story of this iconic art spot. All these murals have these really cool little storylines in them. And I'm really hoping the next round of murals get the same kind of storylines, you know? And that's why this whole inclusive festival is about seeing the first brush mark go on and the last one go up at the end. All right. We're so afraid of change. And uh, it needs to happen sometimes. Artists from across Richmond will be here this weekend creating their new murals, each one of them having a new story to tell.